Southern California's weekend earthquakes have a lot of Utahns thinking about our own potential for a magnitude 7 or greater. Yeah, no doubt about that. Local experts say Utah's biggest landmarks are preparing and you should too. ABC4's Andrew Reeser digging into the potential damage of a similar quake if it hit here in Salt Lake City. Would a 7.1 earthquake along the Wasatch Fault bring down the Capitol building? Thanks to these base isolators installed some years ago underneath, which absorb the shock of a big shake, probably not, according to Bob Carey with the Utah Division of Emergency Management. As a population, we're probably much better prepared than most places. But despite buildings like the Capitol being souped up with extra protection and with base isolators set to be installed underneath the Salt Lake Temple later, many older buildings along the Wasatch Fault are not prepared. They're poorly reinforced and uh, they're very susceptible to lateral motion, the thing that you get in uh, earthquakes. Kerry says California's recent quakes have no effect on our seismic activity, but a 7.1 here would likely cause massive power outages, billions in damage, and heavy loss of life. Experts at the University of Utah say even a 6.0 would be devastating. People tend to focus on, you know, the big one, but I guarantee you uh, a 6 underneath the Salt Lake Valley would knock down buildings. It's a reminder for Utahns to stay prepared. Do regular drills with your family. Have a central point of contact. Have a 72-hour kit on hand. And if you live in a more historic home, consider applying for a Fix the Bricks Utah grant to help earthquake-proof your own house. In Salt Lake City, Andrew Reeser, ABC4 News. For more information on how FEMA and the state of Utah can help you reinforce your historic home against a massive earthquake, visit our website, abc4.com.